We need to expand and modify the Mosaic Law. BAM! Expand it! Oh, Catherine! Honey, I may have been cheating on you. It's just, you can't give me a baby boy, and you know, I want a divorce. What? Uh, I'm the Pope, by the way. And no. No divorce! Yes! You know what? I want a new church. Daddy! Oh, why can't you be a boy? But I am! I don't care! Ah! In 1536, John Calvin writes his Institutes of Christian Religion. This seminal work was written as an introductory textbook upon the Protestant faith for those with some previous knowledge of theology, and it covered a broad range of theological topics, such as the church and sacraments. Justification by faith alone and Christian liberty. It vigorously attacked the teachings of Calvin. In 1547, Edward VI is considered a friend to Reformation thinking. Mary I becomes queen once her brother dies. She kills many Protestants. And the Bible gets translated into English. Yay being a lawyer! Yay public speaking! Yay influencing the Founding Fathers! In 1558, Elizabeth I becomes Queen. She is known as the Virgin Queen. Vindicae contra tyrannos meaning Defenses of Liberty Against Tyrants, was an influential Huguenot tract published in Basel in 1579. The work proceeds through four questions concerning the response of people to the king, and history continues to repeat itself. See you later, guys. God said I could do what I want! Would you like more Roman Catholicism on your salad? Oh, just, oh, just tell me when to stop. The, keep going? Oh, wow, wow, that's a lot of Roman Catholicism. Because in 1620, Charles I becomes king and reinstates Roman Catholic practices. Woohoo. I want this. We want this. We don't want this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Take this. Ooh. The Petition of Right is a major English constitutional document that sets out specific liberties of the subject that, that the king is prohibited from infringing. Passed on 7th of June, 1628, the petition contains restrictions on non-parliamentary taxation. <sighs> this limits the king. Again, history is totally not repeating itself. Honestly, who's the one with the time machine? The Institutes, the Laws of England, 
are a series of legal treatises written by Sir Edward Cook. They were first published in 1628. They are widely recognized as a foundational document of the common law. If you haven't noticed a trend, you're probably stupid and shouldn't be in this class. Psst, it's common law. 1632-1704 John Locke was an English philosopher and physician who was regarded as one of the most influential of Enlightenment thinkers and he was known as the father of classic liberalism. Considered one of the first British empiricists following the tradition of the tasty Francis Bacon, he is equally important to the social contract theory. Let's make a seminary. And so I cried sometimes when I'm lying in bed to get it all up. But God has given me so much power. What's that? You want me to have even more power? Okay. Lex Rex is a book by the Scottish Presbyterian minister Samuel Rutherford. It was intended to be a comprehensive defense of the Scottish Presbyterian ideal in politics. The book defends the rule of law and the lawfulness of defensive wars, including preemptive wars, and advocates limited government and constitutionalism in politics and the two kingdoms theory in church of state relations. History is still repeating itself. Find a phone booth and get out of the matrix. Catholic. Protestant. Catholic. Protestant. Catholic. Protestant. Catholic. Protestant. Catholic. 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 Catholic.
1773, 60 men boarded a ship illegally and dumped 10,000 pounds worth of tea into the river. Give me liberty, or give me... State governments are getting formed up in this hizzle. The Constitutional Convention took place in Philadelphia. Over the course of it, the Constitution was formed, agreed upon, and ratified. This gave the birth to a new country. Mm -hmm.